Hello, I'm Mark Eberlein, the inventor of the screw saver machine. As anybody that's ever taken a gun apart knows, you need to have the right screwdriver to fit the screw or it's a mess. So here we have an old shotgun that we're restoring and we need to take a screw out. Well, the normal is to go pick one off the shelf and we go, well, that's pretty close, so that might work. And, and then we try it and we're sorry that we tried that. And we have somebody here that um, made a real mess of a screw. The temptation is to find the closest fitting screwdriver that you have because you only need it for one screw. And when that happens, you do just what this guy did years ago where he ruined a screw. It's all engraved. You're going to have to make a new screw that fits it, be flush to the surface and not damage the finish in any way. And then you need to engrave it. So for the cost of probably three to $500 to replace that screw, the screw saver will pay for itself. So at this point in time, when your, your choices to make a screwdriver are limited, you're gonna do it by hand some way, and you're gonna to try to hold it. The ways to make them require a great deal of skill in order to make it accurate. So let's do it a different way. Let's take and find out how big that screw slot really and truly is. So we can use a feeler gauge to come over here and test our screw slots. So I'm gonna go with a 19 thousandths thick screwdriver blade. So the first thing we do is we put this into the setup cradle. This is called a chuck sleeve. And this is adjustable so you can move it in or out. So we're gonna slide this into the setup cradle. We're going to tighten up, we're gonna hold the screwdriver in, get it lined up with the center of the slot, tighten up our chuck, we're set. And now we can put it in this cradle, the grinding cradle. We're going to turn it on, and now we'll go in and we'll, we'll start lowering it down. This won't burn your steel, nor will it burn your fingers. So now we're ready to start getting serious about our grinding. So I'll turn the machine off and I'm going to measure where my cut's at. So right now I'm at 43 thousandths of an inch wide on the blade. So I got uh, 24 thousandths that I'll cut off, 19 minus from 43. I got 20 thousandths to cut off. So I need to go down 10 thousandths of an inch. So I'm going to set my dial to zero. So because the dial is set up in 1 thousandths increments, and I need to cut off 20 thousandths. That means that I'm only gonna go down 10 thousandths total depth to cut. So I'm gonna start in here and. Yeah, there we go. We're done. So let's see if this fits our gun screw. There we go. We've got a perfect fitting screwdriver so that we can avoid damage to screws like somebody else has done on this gun. So now we have a stripped out hex drive screw. So we wanna make a hex driver. So we're gonna use a cheap throwaway hex bit. I'm gonna cut off about um, eight thousandths on each side, on each surface. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, five, and six sides have now been cut. So I'm gonna measure to cross the flats. I think we're in good shape. I'll turn the machine off and let's see what we got. Now we can take that stripped out screw out. We also sometimes have some very small screws that require a smaller chuck holding mechanism than this can provide. We can use ER collets. These are ER16 collets. And so if we wanted to make a screwdriver to say one millimeter wide to get into for a watch screw, we can do that. You can also change the collets out in here, various sizes. And you can use a larger one and you can do square screwdrivers then, you can grind them in here. And so you can make a perfect fitting screwdriver for every screw and it's that easy. 
So you can contact us at screwsaver.com to inquire about this. We have also have a small casual user model that we're, we're working on as a prototype at this time. So I'm Mark Eberlein, screwsaver.com, and thank you very much for watching this video.